Okay, all right, here we are again. It's an everyday thing. Welcome to your unique devotion. Um, for those who have been watching, welcome back. Okay, today is John chapter 19, verses 28 through 30. It's entitled, It is Finished. So here we go. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. Now a vessel full of sour wine was sitting there, and they filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on hyssop, and put it to his mouth. So when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. That is very powerful because that is kind of the, the entire point of the the entire Bible, uh, scripture is finally being fulfilled here in his death. Now we have one more thing to fulfill, but we're not there yet. And in him saying it is finished, taking his last breath, his death is finally complete. Um, but not his entire purpose. So, here's something for you to think about. Here's that question, that God question. When you finish something, do you pause and reflect on it? What about the moment? What about pausing and reflecting on a task? What about just the day right before you go to bed? I really encourage you to either re-listen to this uh, portion of the scripture or get it out for yourself. Get the Bible out and read that portion. John chapter 19 verses 28 through 30. And just pause for a moment and reflect on it is finished. Reflect on that section. Um, I have a feeling God's going to reveal something to you. And if you reflect on, learn to reflect on moments, tasks, and things in the day all the time, God's really going to reveal stuff to you. Now, just a quick word of advice. This does not mean dwelling on the past. <laughs> Reflection is not dwelling. Reflection is just recognizing what you did and seeing if there's anything that can change or be improved or that you just did well. Hey. It's, that's good. And then moving on and learning from that and going through life, hopefully communicating with God. On that note, I hope God gives you all the blessings you deserve and even more so, all the blessings you don't deserve. Have a wonderful day. I will hopefully see you tomorrow.